and welcome to the bathroom. Today I want to start uh, by making a shout out to Dan. He recently started his channel called uh, Vintage Life. It's a very interesting channel. He got antique and vintage razors. Uh, he done a few videos uh, where he presented and I have to read from my note here. A Wilkinson sword, a seven days kit from 1920, and uh, he also got another Wilkinson sword empire set from the 1930s. And uh, what I understood, he got um, <coughs> sorry uh, more antique racers that he gonna present along the way on his channel. So please check him out. He deserves more subscribers. Um, He's a natural talent for this uh, to listen to and um, I wish him well in the future, very nice guy. Vintage life, check him, check him out please. Uh, today's soap and review will be this uh, declaration grooming, contemplation, contemplation. Um, it's a sample I got from Mike, thank you very much. It's a soap uh, that contains, uh, it's full of different oils and uh, tallow from beef, uh, lamb and everything, lanolin. The scent is medium strong. It's a fresh, sweet, uh, slightly spicy scent of citrus, what I can get from this one. Very nice. So we're gonna try that soap out for the first time today and uh, also it will be a, a new blade I never tried before, treat. Uh, I had a few treat before and I'm not sure if I was so fond of them but at least for one shave they could be good enough so we will see how this will perform. I will go with the satin tip synthetic, the purest. And uh, I will, I will not bowl ladder. I will um, squeeze out the soap in here, and I will load it from here on face ladder. So while I do that, I pause the video. I'll see you soon. So I'm back here with a loaded brush. I have um, three days of growth, so it will be a decent shave. I just squeezed out a little bit here in the bowl and I load it, load the brush on it. With a slightly damp brush. I will shave with the same piece that's left here tomorrow off camera, but I will leave it in there. So paste it on. Time to add some water here. This soap costs um, $20 for 4 ounces. So it's a little bit pricier soap. But it contains so many good ingredients. As you can see in the description below if you're interested, I always put the information about the soaps I test there. And of course I don't use any pre-shave. pre-shave I consider being completely unnecessary if you have a good soap you don't need that if you have a rotten soap that many people seems to shave with 
Of course, you need some kind of pressure. But you have the ingredients you need for the slickness already in, especially in this soap because it so many different animal fat in this one. And there's castor oil and different kinds of oils. I'm not gonna I have a thick nice ladder here. So we'll go for it now. I don't know if I have mentioned the uh, razor. I might forgot that. It's the marker Futur on setting bomb. I recently read something uh, interesting that you should not rinse the blade in uh, water that are more than 30 degrees warm because that could actually dull the edge somehow. How that's possible I don't have a clue but people smarter than me said so. it could be something to consider rip it off it's like war knife in butter this one even on something one This racer is uh, fantastic. I said it before that I didn't like it at all when uh, it came out because I don't like the design of it. But even on setting one, this one uh, you have a big blade feel. But if you put it out to setting six, it can shave everything off. Uh, what beard you even have, it will take it off like, like nothing with a big blade feel. But on the same side, this one is a very, very smooth to shave with. I'm very, very impressed by this razor. It's a very efficient razor. On any settings, Got a very nice residual slickness of this soap. The only thing I don't like with the ingredients of this soap, they completely unnecessary added the Trasodium EDTA. Otherwise, there are only good natural ingredients in this soap. Now it starts to dry out, but it's only the first pass. I shaved um, this Friday again with the Gillette 
Mac 3 Turbo. And uh, then it I got ladder all over the handle here. And I got completely BBS, very very effortless. No tugging, it was the third use of that blade. And I also shaved with it on Saturday off camera. One pass, very effective. Look at this soap, fantastic leather. It feels great on the skin. The scent is very elegant. Of this sweet, fresh citrus and spice that I get from it. Okay, second pass. Who knows, it might just be a two pass shave. I have on my neck left, as usual. A little bit here, I missed a spot there. So let's do a little bit more. absolutely nothing left here as you can hear no feedback at all
Okay, I'm done you guys. I am gonna rinse and I'll be back. The conclusions of this soap is that um, we chase a very good soap, a top performing soap, absolutely. It has a nice medium strong scent of citrus that are sweet citrus, a little bit spicy, aromatic scent, very nice. Um, the leather performed top notch all the way, the glide, the residual slickness, maybe not the best residual slickness I had, but uh, very very good. So this is a soap I can recommend, very nice soap indeed. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I take no aftershave. It has very good ingredients this soap So I'm gonna let it work into my skin like it is. So take care everyone See you soon. Bye. Bye